All right, Google Meet teachers, if you've been looking for a way to magnify part of your screen to help your students see what you're trying to teach, I think I might have something that could help you. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, no. Okay, full disclosure, you also have to have a Mac to make this work. This tip actually comes from a viewer who posted a comment on one of my videos and said, another way to do this is to use Apple's built-in assistive technologies. The great thing about using this is it will work with any video conferencing platform. So it works with Google Meet. Here's how you do it. Go down to your system preferences, click on accessibility, and then select Zoom. From here, make sure that these two buttons are checked off. Once you have those checked off, all you have to do is click the option, command, and the equal sign, and it will zoom in for you. And then to toggle between zooming in and zooming out, you can just hit the command option eight key. Wherever your cursor is at, that's where it's gonna zoom into. And if you select this button, you could also use your trackpad. So if you click on the option button and you use two fingers, you can zoom in and out like that. So this is what it looks like in your Google Meet. When you're in your meeting, you're going to come down to the bottom right and click present now. You have to select your entire screen because if you just select window or tab, it won't show up for your participants in your video conference. And let's say you're on a website right now and you want to zoom in on Jen Jones's head. You put your cursor over where you want it to zoom in at, then you hold down the command, the option, and you can toggle in and out with the eight or the plus sign and the minus sign. And then if you have a stream deck, you could also program it because these are just keyboard shortcuts, right? So if you're sharing your screen and you want to zoom in on something, all you have to do is leave your cursor there, then come over to your stream deck and hit zoom in and watch what it does for your kids. Zooms in. And then to zoom out, just hit the button. Bam, it pops right back. So this is just another great way for you to engage your students when you're online by bringing into focus exactly what you're trying to teach. I'm Darren Akakihara. That's your tech tip of the day.